Born Ultimatum was like my big break as an actor when I was 23. Rolling Stone magazine was like greatest movie fight of all time, you know, when it came out and it was like, wow. I almost thought, look, this is my opening hand. Wait till you guys see what I'm really capable of. I was doing this biology degree and I realized this isn't what I want to do with my life. You know, I want to do something creative. Like in the daytime, I'm doing my biology degree and stuff. By nights or weekends or skipping lectures, I would go and do extras work. Because I just thought this will be my film school. And over that three years, I must have been on 60 different film sets. So yeah, so, that, so I had to realize that if I want to be an actor and be that action star, I have to focus on becoming a, a dramatic actor. Stuntmen almost never get given an acting role. Just thought, I'm better than your average guy. You know, me working in movies is, you know, it's possible. <laughs> Street Fighter 1, I have a very vague recollection of during my early childhood in London. But when the Mega Drive Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition dropped, I was all over that. Yeah, and I remember all the artwork and the hype of the new challenges, and I, I remember all that stuff super clearly. Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the Super Nintendo, and hyper fighting, and um, all the additions. I was caught up in all that hype. I played through all the Alpha games. Alpha 1, Alpha 2 in particular, I really liked. Alpha 3 I dabbled in a bit. Remember Marvel Super Heroes came out, and X-Men vs. Street Fighter in the arcade. Me and Christian Howard, who plays Ken Masters in Assassin's Fist, we lived together for a period and we played um, MVC2 obsessively. So I think for both of us, MVC2 sticks out still as our kind of peak enjoyment of playing. As a game, what made Street Fighter stand out? You have a diverse range of characters with different personalities that allow players to identify with someone. Number two, real memorable music. The melodies, the original melodies of Street Fighter 2 are some of the best composed pieces of music because you can hum them and they're, they're contagious. And the move sets. I love the fact that aside from the special moves, that the, the basic techniques of each character are so specifically designed. In terms of the lore of Street Fighter, I draw from all possible sources that are out there. So it's kind of like I would take the backbone, i.e. the story that is told in the games, and take the best elements from the Udon comic book series, the various animes, and try and make a cohesive, definitive backstory, in the case of Assassin's Fist, for the Unsatsuken characters. And it's so fragmented, the Street Fighter mythology, that I thought someone needs to unify it. And I think a lot of fans now, having watched Assassin's Fist, now regard that as that's the backstory, because it just coalesces everything together into just a sort of definitive, digestible chunk. Originally, I've developed a treatment for the World Warrior storyline, rather than a movie, a serialized form to really tell the story. And they were like, we have Super Street Fighter 4 coming out. Maybe you could do something on a smaller scale. I was like, cool. So then I rewrote Concept for Legacy, a short that would just showcase like a proof of concept of the vision. And, and Ryu and Ken, we needed to see them fight because the movies hadn't given us that. Because the people that greenlight and make studio-sized films and produce them don't have the knowledge of the game. They put a couple of special moves in and that's it. They just give them generic like martial arts choreography, which is absurd because it just shows there's not very many good choreographers out there. Whereas you can see meticulously every basic punch and uppercut and feint is in there. From Ryu and Ken's bobbing stance to Akuma's like, clawed stance to Goken's cleaner stance, everything was represented. You know, it would be a disservice to the fans of the mythos if, if all the basic moves weren't represented faithfully. And to have the true understanding of the Street Fighter game, you have to read a dude on comics. You have to have played all the games. You have to have watched all the animes. You have to be a player yourself and understand what makes players tick. It's taken until now for the stars to kind of align for Street Fighter, for someone who's super passionate like I am about the series, but is also, you know, hopefully what people see as a skilled filmmaker and really knows about action on film and martial arts and choreography, you know.
I knew if I was happy with it and loved it and was exhilarated by it, how could other fans not like it? Street Fighter Resurrection is insane. I mean, as, as, as epic as Assassin's Fist was, this has been even more hard work. It's so intense, there's so much action. There are more iconic characters in Resurrection virtually than there are in Assassin's Fist. It's, and the production values are crazy. There are gunfights, there are explosions that, yeah. You've just got to see it, check it out. And if you don't, you'll be sorry.